Hi guys, I haven't done a video about vapes for quite a while, uh, for several reasons. Probably the main reason is that YouTube has taken a dislike to videos about vapes and had started demonetizing them or marking them as um, not suitable for advertisers, which was a shame because my take on vapes has nothing to do with actually using them as vapes my take is we've got all these disposable batteries being thrown away that are perfectly useful so i was collecting them for the batteries but youtube thinks that i'm advertising vapes so that was one reason for not doing them anymore uh, another reason is i've got so many in stock i just don't need any more um, but you can always have an extra one, I suppose. One more doesn't hurt. And then the third reason is the ones that I do see have usually either been crushed deliberately or somebody has already pinched the batteries out of them and just thrown the case away. Uh, so there's obviously quite a few people who have got onto this idea of saving the rechargeable batteries. Anyway, these two caught my eye and I thought I would collect them and talk about them. This one's not actually a vape, it's just the mouthpiece. But I did have a comment on one of my old videos a long time ago about these disposable mouthpieces had got magnets in them. Well, I collected a few after getting that comment and they definitely didn't have magnets in. But this one does. So the person who made that comment I'm sorry at the time because I couldn't find any that had them. Uh, but this one, it says Vaporesso XROS on the side of it. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. And this one definitely does have magnets in it. Because if they had magnets, then that was another thing that made them worth collecting. I'll just see if I can pull that one apart. A couple of tools. Okay, we're not interested in the rest of it. I'm only interested in the magnets that are in there. So which are they? I should think. It's these bits, yeah. So can we get it out without damaging them? There we are, a little neodymium, I should imagine. It feels like a neodymium, and it's strong enough to be neodymium. So there we are, two nice little neodymium magnets. So I guess I'm going to have to find something to do with them. The rest of it, I'm not interested in at all. Some people keep on about the heater element and that we really must be able to find something useful to do with it. But at the moment, that's going in the bin for me. Right, next. Most of the vapes that I pick up are purely disposable, um, pre-charge, you don't recharge them. This one, it's a Lost Mary BM3500, clearly has a USB-C port on it. Now, I did have a look at it just now, and I can see that the positive lead from the battery is broken off. So I will solder it onto there, I would guess. 
No, it can't be onto there. But what I'm interested in is if that is a little, well, it is a little charger module in there. We should be able to use that for other purposes. No, don't damage that chip. That's the one we're interested in. 3.79. That's not bad. But we'll see if we solder that together, see if we can charge it up. Right. I had to guess a couple of the wires because they were disconnected. The red wire that I thought went to the battery should actually go to the V plus on the back of there. And that wire that I didn't even notice initially because it's got no insulation on it is the one that should go to the red of the battery, to the positive of the battery. With that plugged in, we're charge is going up. We were on 3.7 something. We're up to 3.85. And we're putting in about 40 milliamps. Four point four volts, thirty nine milliamps, or point three nine amps. So it looks like the charge is working. I've taken off the um, heater element because we don't need it anyway. So we've got a nice little charger module for free. Just taking that excess bit of plastic off there, which did have the vape liquid in it originally. So yeah, we got a working circuit. All I've got to do is find something to do with it. Plus we got a bonus of two little neodymium magnets. Because just as a thought, there is absolutely no need to have that sensor in the circuit either. as far as I know. Because so I'm assuming that the chip on there is the um, charger regulator. I'll have a look, see if it's got a number on it. Just had a quick look through my stock. I've got another Lost Mary with a USB C charger on it. I've also got this one YOLO bar. Got a USB C on the end of it. I'm pretty sure I did have some other ones that have got um, chargers on them. But these are the ones I can find at, at short notice. Like I say, I've got rather a lot in stock. So but I've got a, a bag full of 20 or more Lost Marys, and that was the only one in the bag. This one, plug it in. The LED comes on briefly, but obviously there's no battery connected to this one. And this one, that's all right. Anyway, we've got some LiPo charger circuit boards for free. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched.
Thanks again for watching.